What is up, man? 25 gamers. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down our base zone beater out of this shotgun. Uh, doubles on formation. What we like to do here, we need to go into our depth chart, and this is why, um, this is why you need to follow my team breakdown videos to make sure you have um, the proper depth chart set up. But for the Seahawks, uh, what we want to do is we want to make sure that Percy Harvin is is, is in the number three slot. Uh, for this offense for a very specific reason. We're going to get back into that in just a moment. Uh, also, make sure that you set your audibles. Make sure that you download the playbook that I offer you uh, on the man share. Just search it. I should, I'm should. i going to try to make sure I have it up there for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Uh, it's going to be called uh, Seahawks Scheme of the Week or something like that. Something pretty simple. Um, but real quickly here, these are the audibles. I really like these out of the um, out of this play. Uh, the quick, we've got the quick base, the jet sweep, the jet sweep, uh, play action play, and then we're going to run the tight end stick, uh, the Vikes Y stick. I really like this play, or actually, excuse me, we're going to actually have the Vikes HB circle in there, but you could have the Y stick, it doesn't really make a difference to me. Um, it's just the HB angle um, is a little bit more of a useful play than the stick, so it's up to you, but anyways, that's what we like to have in our quick audibles for this formation. Uh, so that's one of those that you have to kind of set up. Um, what we like to do is we're going to be coming into this formation flip. So ideally, and that's the thing, and we're going to get back to why we flip our formations in a moment, uh, or actually probably in the next video. But So we'll just come out in the, in the main play we're going to be running from this. And this is our um, base zone beating play, but we do like to run the ball. We still like, and this is a, another thing about this offense, is it's very focused on running the football and uh, more of a balanced offense than we one of the most balanced offense we've had uh, on the channel in a while. So we like to Ottawa to the jet sweep because Percy Arvin's in the third slot and he's going to come across and he's going to get really good blocking here. Um, and it's going to set up for a lot of things we're going to do later on in the game. Um, this is just a really good play. It's very similar to the fullback, uh, to the halfback off tackle out of the sh uh, pistol full house. Uh, one of the better runs in the game is just a jet sweep kind of run. So that's why we like that, and, and really we're going to call this if we feel that they're weak on that edge. So we're just going to play a numbers game. If they give us numbers advantage, we're going to take it. If they don't give us a numbers advantage, we're not going to take it. So something like this. If they were to show blitz at a dime, this is still going to be a numbers advantage for us because if you count, they got three guys to the left side of the line. We've got three blockers, and then we're just going to get to the outside with Harvin and, and try to hit an edge. But if they were to do something like this, maybe um, spread their line, shift their linebackers to the right, press coverage, now they have a numbers advantage win. So we're going to go to our play action play. The play action jet sweep. And what we like to do with this is we like to put Marshawn Lynch on a wheel route. We like to put Heath Miller on, and we like to put Heath Miller on an in, or Zach Miller, excuse me. And the first read on this is what they're doing over there on that side of the field. Now, one thing, and this is one thing I will tell you about this play. Is for, if you wanted to run it against a zone look, then I would say swing. You actually kind of want to swing Lynch, I guess. You don't really want to wheel him because you want you want him to hold. So if they're in like a cover three, what's going to happen is you're, this is always your first read. They're going to hold on Lynch, and you're just going to have that wide open space to throw that wheel route to Harvin. And you want to get make sure you throw it quick because you don't want that pick. But you know, I'm just trying to show you that separation here. And then if they're running cover two, it's still going to be the same idea here you're still going to have that wide open space to throw to Harvin, and it's just a really good play for that reason. Now, if they're in cover four, which is what this play is, then um, you're going to have Lynch wide open. So here you're going to see they're going to go with Harvin, so then you check down to Lynch, and then you can... Now you, Harvin acts as a lead blocker upfield for you. Another thing you could do against cover four, and this is mainly for a coverage version of cover four, is you could just bail out with Wilson, so something like this and just roll out and, and follow your lead blockers and, and try to make plays like that. Um, okay, so that's the PA jet sweep. And then the, the only other read really, and this is just, you know, mainly for man coverage purposes, but that in route to the tight end is very good against man. Um, the other three routes on this play are really pretty good against man, and that's why I like them so much. Um, especially this deep post is going to be a very tough route to stop unless he drops the ball, but... You see the idea here. 45 quick base is just to add balance to the formation. Um, you know, a lot of times out of this, we're going to be running to the left. So we need to have that balance to be able to say, okay, well, you know, I am running to the left a lot, but I can run to the right if I want to. With Marshawn Lynch's trucking ability, it's going to be very easy to pick up positive yards out of this. 
And I would say that you call this play just a couple of times. This is kind of your play that, you know, your kind of home run play at, off of the jet sweep. Um, so anyways, guys, that's the, the first three plays. That's the basics. Um, but the main passing play is that jet sweep. I really like that. And, you know, I was actually tempted to call this my three-headed rushing attack. Um, but it is a very effective for beating zone because of all these the routes you get out of the PA. So, anyways, guys, let's go back into the hatback circle now. Uh, what I like to do with this play is I like to put Golden Tate either on a drag route or a smoke screen. Normally, it's going to be a smoke screen. That's all I like to do to it. Against cover four, he's going to be your first read, and you're going to have him a lot of times open against cover four, spin people off and whatnot. Okay. That's your first read. Your second read is going to be your um, running back out of the backfield, pass lead down. Going to be wide open almost every time. All right. Your next read is going to be your deep out route if he does not get pressed. You see the purple route will get out there, so cover four, not really an option if you're trying to throw out routes. So then you're going to progress to your next read, which is the tight end over the middle of the field. As you see, it's very effective for beating cover four. And then your last read is going to be that deep, deep corner route to Harbin. A lot of times it's going to be covered uh, against cover four, but you can try to use or catch it if you want to. But again, it's not a very popular read against cover four. Next, pre uh, next coverage we'll focus on is cover three. You'll see that your smoke screen is still open against cover three if you want to throw it. Um, you'll also see here against cover three that your running back route is also still open. Uh, for the pass lead down to the inside. Um, you'll also see now that your third read on the out route is going to be wide open against cover uh, three pass lead to the outside. You see it's going to be open. And then um, your next read on this was your tight end. So we'll take a look at that right now. We'll just throw it blind. Pass lead down to the inside. You want to click onto that. Make sure you cut that off against the uh, zone. And then lastly, guys, against cover three coverage, really, really relatively late, this corner route will get open. Just pass lead down into the outside. you got to make sure you click onto that and make a user catch. Okay, that's cover three. Let's focus on the cover two now. Here, your smoke screen will not be open, but your second route, your second read, will still be open against cover two. Okay. Um, next read is the um, uh, deep out route against cover two. Um, not really, not really that good. Um, you see, I still complete it, but again, it's one of it's like, do you want to throw into traffic like that, or do you want to throw to open stuff? I would prefer to just check out of that, go to my next read, uh, which here would be the deep tight end over the middle. You see, it gets pretty, pretty open against cover two. And then lastly, Harvin, uh, with the pass lead down into the outside, is going to be very effective against cover two. Probably the most effective against cover two here. So, guys, that's the doubles on. Um, some good runs here and some really good passing. I uh, really like this formation, guys. A lot of things you can do uh, with it. You can really attack a lot, of, a lot of different things you can do. A lot of balance here. Um, but in my opinion, it's not my three-headed rushing attack um, simply because the jet sweep is a hit or miss run. And the quick base is also, it's not the best run, but it's decent. We kind of had a, we, honestly guys, we kind of have a three-headed rushing attack uh, out of every play, we out of every formation really, uh, when you think about it. So, you know, really this could be considered your running play, um, the idea here. And we're going to show you a quick snap run that we like to use um, off of, you know, off of a no-huddle situation. And then we're going to have a nice X-Factor formation for you later on in the week. So thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to stay tuned tomorrow when we break down how to uh, run out of the Minnesota Vikings playbook. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave me some feedback. Let me know what you guys are thinking of the scheme so far and uh, get back with me. Thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow.